So what do you get when you cross the already challenging, ever-limited Don't Starve Hamlet with the threat of eternal darkness, plus a bit of Porky Pig Princess? I don't know, folks. <laughs> I really, really don't know. But yes, uh, since we didn't really want to play the same Willow, I kind of had to do a little cheeky cheeky some of that. And you know, I should say that I do have a general idea of how this is going to go, because it's going to be a freaking nightmare, just like the start of Shipwrecked Lights Out. And uh, well, this might even be worse somehow, because we're Wilba. That means we have more sanity drain in constant dusk and night. And, uh, well, let's just say Wilba is nothing until she becomes Werewilba, because I took away her royalty perks. Or should I say the darkness took away her royalty perks? Because, yeah, while the guards are going to be out, none of the other pig traders are going to be. So Wilba's main perk, her only perk, really, outside of Werewilba, is gone. I will not get any free Gifts. Oh, you cheeky, cheeky devil game. Uh, Clay either planned for this, or this is the worst bug we could have encountered in this series. Um, yeah, the lamp posts aren't working, even though it's nighttime. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Here I was thinking I was gonna have uh, the ability to have unlimited. Light in the Hamlet, at least as a little vacation away from the eternal darkness, but no. All right, that's not good, because here I was thinking the worst early bit was going to be the fact that I can't make money so fast, you know what I mean? But let's talk the thing that uh, everyone's probably wondering. Hold up, Beard. It's night. That means you can't go anywhere. Yeah, now without a little mod. <laughs> We had to mod this a little bit, otherwise this literally would have been impossible. So all shops are open, 24 hours. Okay, so I need to do what I need to do way faster than I was anticipating, everyone. And it has to deal with the only light we have right now, glow flies. Okay, if I kill them, I don't really have the greatest chance to get what I'm looking for. If I capture them... That's a different story. Oh, but this is what I was looking for, everyone. The first cave cleft of the run. Because, one, it's going to help us right now. Two, we can talk to the new stuff. This is the first series after the absolutely bonkers insane massive Solo Don't Starve update that we covered. So, we have mushrooms in Hamlet cave clefts now. Oh, yes. We know the best thing about cave clefts and honestly, most interiors in Don't Starve Hamlets? There is no sanity drain, even in complete darkness. Now, Charlie will still get you, but the sanity drain is my biggest threat right now. And it's not going to get any better when I actually have to do work in complete darkness. And you know what else is great? First tree, first snake. <laughs> Come on, game. I'm already pushing it to the limits. Oh, good. Second tree, second snake. It's going to be one of these series, isn't it? But hey, I'm Wilba, so technically I can eat all this and I don't have to bloody worry about it. But uh, yeah, don't want to eat two right off the bat. Nope, nope, nope. Save that for later. But for now, that cave cleft is going to be my home, everybody. But all right, here we go. Now we can start making some progress. Probably don't need much of that. Uh, my sanity is doo-doo. Of course, I'm going to get it back from doing this, but I'm definitely going to have to be fighting some nightmare creatures soon. Let's make sure we got some of this. But there's seriously only so long I can go with these torches, man. Ugh, you know another thing that's going to make this nightmarish and potentially actually end the run early? Uh, Charlie attacks way faster in this game than she does in Don't Stop Together. Like, way, way faster, by the way. <laughs> it's so annoying. But all right, we got another... Ooh, we got a red and a blue gem. Not bad. So, so annoying. Green shrooms. Oh, this is what I like to see. Okay, slight problem, though. I gotta dig these up. Right, it's constantly nights. They're never gonna pop out. Uh, hmm. And yeah, I don't think mushrooms are part of regrowth in Solo Don't Starve. Because guess what? Regrowth isn't a thing in Solo Don't Starve. But looky, looky who I found, everybody. All right, might as well. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You always wait to do this at night anyway. So thank you, game. What the heck, Clay? Is it like guaranteed to get snakes from these trees now? Because it's happening every time. <laughs> 
every flipping time. But I'm also trying, folks. I'm trying. I'm trying to get these light bulbs without having to find silk. Oh, but this is kind of fun. I never, ever use these. Might as well just show them off. Crumbling braziers, everybody. That's fun. Yeah, really is. If you didn't know, you can fill them up. And this is a good opportunity. It allows me to get all this. Watch me get another freaking snake out of this. Oh my gosh, it's like the first freaking one. Got one, folks. Got one. All right, this might be like the perfect freaking spot, apparently. Got all the wood in the world. I can keep killing these glow flies. I got actual light for Pete's sake. And just like butterflies in the base game, everybody, if this is the only flower on screen for a bit, it's going to be spawning these guys very fast, as you can see right bloody there. So, you know... Might want to stick around, actually. Like that, everybody. You love it, you love it, you love it. That's all I need, isn't it? Uh, now I need an alchemy engine, which probably means a few more rocks. But guess what? I can get rocks here. I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. I think Wilba saved our behinds. Because if I wasn't her, and I had to deal with not being able to pick some grass in the outskirts of the hamlet and all that, yeah, this would have rivaled the shipwreck start. But for now... I think we're in a pretty good position here, especially with this guy in play. An alchemy engine, folks, and a lantern is now in hand. Oh, everything just got way, way less stressful. But we're in no way out of the woods yet. We still have very limited money-making skills. Some things are simply not gonna grow because guess what? It's night, right? Uh, we can't have the BFB. That's gonna be a whole freaking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we just have some light coverage cover and of course let us not forget how bloody freaking fast hamlet is with its seasons we got vampire bat wave still oh my goodness gracious oh yeah and with no bfb island um i can't really refuel this lantern very well <laughs> so we still kind of need silk but hey the upside the first bat of the first wave dropped the pig skin so boom at least I got this going for me. Mats, everybody. Okay, good find, obviously, but uh, they don't... Ooh, I see a light bulb in the darkness. They don't look to be the mats that actually have the uh, pig heads around them, so that doesn't really help me. So yeah, <gasps> found them, found them. Found them. Best part is, too, they're mostly all sleeping, everybody. Ow. Oh, so if I can get them by their lonesome, good stuff. Good, good, good. You dropped nothing for me. Of course you did. But it doesn't matter because this is the ultimate flipping prize. I don't care if I get one silk each. I just need a single flipping bug nets and a bug net we now have everybody so i can capture glow flies i can get fireflies everything is right in the world holy moly and again catching these guys guarantees a light bulb gotta murder them like this but it guarantees it oh amazing but again just because we somewhat mitigated one problem means absolutely flipping nothing okay let's keep on keeping on now it's probably time to start thinking seasons because I'm three and a half days away from the next season and uh, money. Oh my, oh my. I just dipped down here just to see if I can get another lost totem or something, but that's a secret room. If this is indeed an actual secret room and it gives me something really, really good, it is a secret room. Holy moly. What do you got for- Ah, oh, freaking gems only. There we go, everybody. Nice. Pig skin from Smashing Pots. These might be pretty clutch as well. And there you have it, folks. Money also looking rather nice now. Just a quick little trip. Hey, do not underestimate the small ruins, man. You don't always have to go in the super duper special ones at the end of the day. Especially when Smashing Pots just casually give you a uh, bloody freaking green gem on top of everything. Everything. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of bloody... I dropped my good pickaxe and not my... <sighs> You dummy dummy. Oh, stacking on mouse. You'll love to see it. Another great quality of life change that we never got to experience until today. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um, why? The mod is 
broken question mark nope just needed to save and load everybody all right good that uh gave me a little bit of a heart attack but here we go a big big old influx of money straight off the flipping bat are you the gem guy too no i was gonna say i haven't played hamlet for a while you are not the gem guy. You're the gem guy, I believe. All right, there we go. Lovely 70 smackaroos right off the flipping bat, everybody. Okay, good, good, good. Um, Now, what am I actually gonna make with that? <laughs> For you see, I don't want the slanty shanty. That to me just feels like an easy victory, right? So all this crap, yeah, don't need it. Oh, he's selling a buck net and a freaking umbrella, actually. And actually a miner's hat. Oh, man, if I didn't have the lantern already, that would have been kind of fun. Uh, yeah, definitely bug net, 100%. Uh, what has he got next? Oh, I was going to buy the umbrella. I'm going to buy another bug net. And get your porky butt out of the way. Thank you very much. All right. I could still get the umbrella. I'm gonna buy the umbrella. Yep, buy the umbrella. We got two of these now. Okay, this was a good freaking call to come in here. And with us getting to the end of the season, these guys are bloody going mad, everybody. Okay, I might actually have to consider maybe keeping some of these as a precaution. Oh, and I killed so many of them. I think Krampus is on the field, everybody. Uh, I don't hear his hissing anymore. He is somewhere in the... Can you imagine, everybody? Can you bloody... Flip and imagine if we can end this first part on a crap sack. He's got to be here. I don't hear his hissing at all. Oh, well, yep. Um, whoops. Wasn't paying attention, actually. Okay, hello. <laughs> that, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, yeah, at least I can pick that up, right? So I'm not going to worry. Hey, at least I can find Krampus, maybe. <laughs> Freaking night vision. That scared the living crap out of me found him all right hello krampus uh so i'm where wilba everybody say hello i have uh no real protection but holy moly do i deal a crap ton of damage so i should probably take advantage of that i should probably also uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh um yeah yep uh-huh it's all that coming <laughs> Saw that coming. Thankfully, not a whole heck of a lot to burn because I can still keep my inventory. I just can't wear anything. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, what am I going to do with this forced uh, werewolf form? Probably not a bad idea to kill a couple guards, everybody. Also, I really got to get some food because, um, yeah, our hunger drains insanely fast in this form for sure. Should probably take advantage of my high health too and maybe take some hits here. I do regenerate health. I need to get some vines as well. Thanks for that. Oh, that's much awesome. Me. No, I just extended it and I didn't mean to freaking extend it. But if I'm doing this, I better make it worth my while. Let's go ahead and start getting uh, what's Madug potentially in play. Yep, stalking stick. Love it. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, if you're in werewolf form and you eat monster meat, you actually extend the uh, form by half a day. <laughs> So, you know, that's great. But a fun bit for anybody playing at home, you can actually still craft as Werewilba. So there you go. Even though I am kind of kind of be buttoned up against the next season, I am ready for the next season. And I wasn't planning on doing this like this, but uh, I have to, kind of. <laughs> I need the food because I am seriously losing it so quickly. You know what I also just realized, everybody? It's Solo Don't Starve. That means double full moons. Right. <laughs> that is 16... Full minutes of Werewilba. That is a long freaking time. Ooh, but the poison gas forest. Okay, good find. Yeah, in case you uh, didn't know, I'm uh, I'm just using this time to map things. Oh, this freaking sucks. Uh, yeah, so entrance to the second island is right here by all these freaking big spider monkeys. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> How did I miss this? Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Mongols. I mean, why would I not take such things? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, a morning star. Yeah, I will take, I will take. Uh, okay, gotta drop things off here. I gotta be honest, folks. I had no idea this boon was even possible in Don't Starve Hamlet, so that's a big freaking surprise. You know what's another really good question? Where did I actually turn in the Werewilba? <laughs> because I need to get my stuff back, don't I? Okay, I think I'm gonna just follow the trail of destruction here because I should be reverting back soon. Yup, legitimately don't remember actually. Um, But I'm just gonna go ahead and craft this while werewolf, because why the frick not? <laughs> 
what is this so ridiculous? All right, handback is here. This is a great end to uh, this episode, by the way. I legit have no idea where I transformed. So let's make notes when I'm editing this video. Yes, it's over there, isn't it? Because we activated an iron Hulk piece. Like I said, everybody, I've been uh, running around and listening to this music for 16 minutes straight. <laughs> You gotta cut me some slack. I'm kind of losing my mind. But there we go. Okay, where Wilba is now back in business and the game broke. <laughs> it's doing the shipwreck thing. Yeah, the game uh, really has a hard time when it's supposed to be constantly night. When's happening? When? Oh yeah, big time. Um, okay, folks, I'm gonna collect my stuff and we're gonna be done. <laughs> what an episode. And what a freaking ending. So folks, there you have it. The start of Don't Starve Hamlet lights out. This is um gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> it is. There's gonna be so many obstacles in the way. Just pure nonsense left and right. We're gonna have to figure things out. <sighs> but I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.